So if you want to do a patch job on Aurora HDR, well, first you need to have a look to uh, send all your HDR photos. So you can take uh, one of the presets uh, that will just do the job, or you can personalize something by playing with all those details just right here and save, a, save the preset like that. Uh, give it a name and you will find that preset in the user Aurora HDR look. So this is a look that I've just made a few minutes ago. Uh, so that's the look out to one. Now, uh, if I got some pictures just right here that I want to make them apply that look. So as you can see, here is an HDR bracket. Here is another one. Here is another one. So that's the HDR four, five, six, seven. So if I want to apply that look on all of those pictures, uh, you will go in file, go down to the batch processing. And from here, uh, you can just go back to here, select the first picture, goes to go to the last and drag all of this just right here. And yes, actually, these are HDR brackets. So actually, Aurora is scanning all of those picture. Uh, it will not determine it if those picture are the same by the name, but with the look. So it detects that this is these three pictures are the same. Those are the same. So it did a pretty good job. All right. So let's hit the continue button. And you see just right here, we can select the user Aurora HDR look or another one in landscape and select the preset or actually I want my preset, which is the auto one. And here you can select the amount of the filter, which is a preset you want to apply. Actually, I want it all because it's a modification I made myself. Uh, if you had something in landscape, I don't know. And you got the um, uh, the best, the best, the best one would be an essential with the detail. Maybe you don't want that much detail. So maybe you want 38%. Uh, well, you will have to take a look at what it done uh, in the non batch processing. And then where you want to save it. So let's browse. Uh, let's say that one will be that one will be on my desktop. Now choose a name. So you want a base name and a custom text. So let's say how oh, to dot gpeg or prefix with file name and yeah. Play with it, do whatever you want. I just don't do anything with that. It will just export it and I will rename it later. And then what kind of picture do you want? JPEG, PNG, TIFF, whatever you want. Uh, that will be a JPEG. Select the quality you want. The higher you go, uh, much space it will take on your hard drives. But 75% usually is great oops 100 on that one uh, the kind of color you want um, do you have to resize it or keep it original now now there is something very important we will go in advance and all of my pictures have been taken handheld so I will hit the auto alignment button and maybe you will want the gust reduction but not in my case and after that you just hit the process button and you wait for it the, depending on the quantity of picture you have, that may take a while. So just let your computer work and you will have all your, your pictures in a few minutes. While we are waiting, uh, if you consider to purchase Aurora HDR or any Skylum software, please consider to take a look at my affiliate link in the description. I've got a discount for you. So there they are, all our 10 HDR pictures now exported in JPEG.
video of this is it thank you for watching i hope it helps if yes please make a thumbs up if you have any question please ask in the comment below i may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you so don't forget to subscribe and what you do see back there it's from my main channel so please come take a look at this right there thank you for watching again see ya